Hi everyone. In this video, I am continuing the measurement of pressure. In the previous video, I have given you the types of various pressure measurements, absolute pressure measurement, gauge pressure measurement and uh, differential pressure measurement. Now, in this video, I am going to explain the types of transducers that are available to measure the pressure. So, types of pressure transducers, they are strain gauge pressure transducers, potentiometer pressure transducer, reluctance pressure transducer, piezoelectric pressure transducer, capacitive pressure transducer. After seeing these names, you may find some known pressure transducers which you have already studied. I have explained some of them in the previous videos. However, I will explain these as a concept of these pressure transducers. See here, strain gauge pressure transducers already you may know in the previous videos where I have explained and the piezoelectric, uh, potential, piezoelectric transducer, pressure transducers also you know. Okay, now I will go through one by one individually so that you will have uh, the idea how to measure the pressure in different uh, types of measurements. So, let us start with the first one is strain gauge pressure measurement. This is the structure how the pressure can be measured with different types of pressures that are influencing on any on an iron rod. See here, this is the iron rod which is placed between two bellows. These are bellows. Bellows. Okay, these are the bellows which have the feature when we apply some pressure in this, they have the flexibility to compress or to give pressure on the device where we are applying. Okay, let us consider that there are we are applying two types of pressures P1 and P2. Listen carefully, it is very easy. When we are applying a pressure in this direction, that means I am applying the uh, pressure on right hand direction. Okay, with the name P1. Then what happens? These bellows, this is the bellow area. This bellow will have influence on this iron rod in this right handed direction. So, simply there exists some pressure movement so that some uh, the iron rod will have the stretching towards right side direction. Because of this stretching, so it may have some bending over the right direction. So, because of this bending the strain cages which are connected on this iron rod may have the resistance change because of the compression and elongation on them. Okay, simply I repeat when we are applying the pressure P1 on this direction from left to right because of this below measurement this below will have influence on this iron rod so this iron rod will have a bending. Because of this one, because of this bending in this right hand direction, these two strain gauges which are on the right hand, these two strain gauges will, what happens? They will be compressed. They will be compressed because, because what happens? Because the movement is on the right hand direction. So, they will be compressed and what about these two? These two are getting elongated elongation is there in this particular two strain gauges. So, because of the compression and decompression of this one, some resistance of this strain gauge will vary because of this, the strain gauge property will be varied and whatever, whenever we are connecting this particular strain gauge in this particular nature on any bridge that can, that is used to measure the cal, uh, resistance change so that the electrical uh, property can be calculated which is in proportional to the applied pressure. Okay, consider the same in the reverse direction. So, take the pressure from the right hand direction to the left hand direction. Okay, take from right to left. So, I am changing the color. I am changing the color for pressure P2. So, apply the pressure from right to left apply the pressure from right to left then what happens these billows now these billows will act and these billows will have influence on this iron rod and thus and thus 
the iron rod will move or bend in this direction that means it bends in the left orientation then these two will have these two strain gauges will have what happens they have been compressed they have been compressed and what about these two these two will be elongated elongation is there so because of this again the same nature whenever if you want to measure the compression and decompression of this one we need to place this in a Wheatstone's bridge or which in any resistance measurement type of construction so that that movement can be calculated so in this way this is the actual pressure uh, measurement uh, how the strain gauges are getting used to measure the pressure applied pressure okay So now strain gauge is a passive type resistive tra pressure transducer whose electrical resistance changes when it is stretched or compressed. That is what I have explained. How the pressure measurement is going to be measured here by the variations of the resistance of the strain. Okay, strain gauge is nothing but some resistive metal wire is used. That metal wire is having some resistance whenever we are applying some compression or decompression, uh, stretching or compressor, the resistance of that particular device will vary. So, that electrical resistance can be varied, so electrical property will be varied. It can be attached to the pressure sensing diaphragm. Pressure sensing diaphragm. So, pressure senses the diaphragm so that the resistance will vary, so that the electrical quantity will be varied. So, these are other types of uh, electrical pressure transducers where they also work with some um, inputs like uh, board and tube electrical pressure transducer and uh, the second one is diaphragm type electrical tra pressure transducer and third is bellow type electrical pressure transducer. See the second and third diagrams appears to be same but the second diagram we are applying the pressure through diaphragm. We are applying the pressure through diaphragm. So, pressure we are applying P1 in this direction. Diaphragm, what the diaphragm will do? Diaphragm will have a property to bend based upon the pressure we are applying. Okay, it is having a property to bend based on the pressure we apply. They are also same, similar to your uh, this diaphragm. Diaph diaphragm works similar to what is that? Billows. Okay. Billows have the property whenever we are applying the pressure, they have the property to stretch. And similarly, diaphragm will also have the property to stretch. So, it goes in this direction and applies the pressure on this one so that the resultant resistance of this particular device will vary and it will show. Here also same in the third diagram, billows type electrical pressure transducer where instead of the diaphragm in the second case we have, we have used here billow whenever the particular pressure we have applied so that the billow is having uh, influence on this material so the resistance of the device will be varied. See here yeah, some arrangement is shown here whenever some this arrangement is like a potentiometer. Okay, normally we have a resistance, maximum resistance that is connected from here to here. Whenever this pressure has been applied, the resistance position is being varied. See, look, look at this diagram. So, if this is varied, so the resistance of this particular device will vary. So, we are measuring the different types of resistance. And the last type is liquid contact type resistance pressure gauge where uh, we are measuring the pressure in, uh, by using some mercury. So, if the mercury level goes upward direction, this need this indication will also going upward direction. That means the resistance is maximum. When it is going upward direction, resistance becomes a maximum. When it is going downward direction, that means when the mercury goes down, resistance becomes minimum. <laughs> So, because of this pressure measure, pressure supplied P1 and P2 on these two uh, devices, the mercury levels will be changed so that the resistance will be varied. So, in this way, different types of uh, resistive pressure transducers can be used. Second type is a potentiometric pressure transducer. So, potentiometric pressure transducer. A potentiometric pressure transducer use a Bourdon tube capsule or below to 
bride a waiver warm arm on the resistance element so the previous diagram what we have seen here you see these are the different types of pressure transducers where we are using the potentiometers like see this third uh, Borden type. This is the first one. Borden type. Borden type electrical pressure transducer. This comes under your potentiometer device. Potentiometer pressure transducer. Where we are using what happens whenever we are applying the pressure on this one. This uh, device will having influence. Because of this one, this needle will vary. So that, so it is having the influence because of this pressure applied. Okay, and the third figure is also showing the potentiometer measurement. This potentiometer is varying because of the applied pressure. So, for a reliable operation, the wipers must near on the element with some for, uh, with some force. Uh, the wipers must be connected with some force, which leads to repeatability. So, whenever we are applying some pressure on this particular device, the wiper should move so that the movement of this wiper should be in proportion to the applied pressure. That means it shows some uh, 10. That 10 is nothing but applied pressure. The value what has been shown by the meter must be in proportional to the applied pressure like P1 or P2. So, these devices are very low cost however and these and are used in low performance applications such as dashboard or oil pressure gaze because completely it is made up of potentiometers and resistors so it is very low cost involved device and it can be used in um, uh, oil pressure measurement applications sir. okay uh, so bridgeman pressure transducer it's a different type of pressure transducer that comes under the um, resistance pressure transducer. So, when a wire is subjected to pressure from all sides, its electrical resistance changes. See here, when a wire is subjected to pressure from all sides, suppose take a wire. Normally, normally we can understand this one. Suppose take this wire, it is having some resistance. When this wire is stretched in this direction or in this direction, so, simply what happens? R is equal to rho L by A. We know this formula. R is equal to rho L by A. Rho is nothing but resistivity. L is nothing but length of the conductor. A is nothing but area of the conductor. So, when this wire has been stretched, what about the length of the conductor? Length of the conductor increases. So, when this increases, what about the resistance? Resistance also increases. So, if L or A, if either length or area of this particular wire increases, the resistance will be varied. Nothing but it is also stretching is also nothing but application of pressure. So, this principle can be utilized to obtain a primary contact resistive pressure sensor and is called as Bridgman pressure sensor okay so the distortion produced in the crystal lattice due to the external pressure called the change in resistance in most cases in most common metal wires the resistance decreases with the increase in pressure the resistance decreases with increase in pressure see suppose consider the same example if i apply pressure on this one if i apply pressure on this one on either sides what about the resistance what about the conducting wire conducting wire will be compressed in this direction compressed compression means length becomes reduces when length reduces what about the resistance resistance will also decrease okay so in most metal wires the resistance decreases with increase in pressure while for antimony, bismuth, lismuth, uh, lithium and manganin, it increases. So, different types of materials exhibit different properties. So, the, uh, here the gauge must be used at a constant temperature and has a range from 0 to 1000 MPa. 1000 mega Pascal. But usable only at high pressure as at low values of pressure the change in resistance value is very small because the small value of the pressure coefficient of resistance because if you are applying low pressure low resistance value will vary because the measurement of pressure and resistance both are directly in proportional to each other so high pressures we are not using for this type of measurement okay so remaining uh, pressure measurements types 
we will discuss in the next video